We have a question from Tim. And Tim says this, I am curious to hear your thoughts about the benefit and downsides of using long rest periods, 10, 15, or even 20 minutes for powerlifting and strongman training, specifically for heavy compound lifts such as squats, bench presses, or deadlifts. For example, doing five sets of five squat program with near maximal loads, something which already requires long rest periods. I asked this because I heard a story about a fellow grad student powerlifter who claimed his training secret was to bring his laptop to the gym and work for tw about 20 minutes between heavy squat sets. Well, so, okay, let's let's separate what you mean by powerlifter. Now, if you're a competitive powerlifter and you're in a competition where you have a 20 minute rest between your lifts, I like this idea. Uh, one of the things I started to pick up at some of the meets, like at the nationals in Olympic lifting, you know, in regional meets, once my name is called for my first lift, usually all three of my snatches, all three of my clean and jerks are finished probably in six or seven minutes on the clock. Because I t you, very often in small local meets, you follow yourself. So um, doing something like this, Tim, if if you're a power lifter in regional meets, uh, you, you, you might not have trained your ability to recover. That weird specific recovery, like I'm out of breath sometimes when I, uh, especially cleaning jerks, I'm still out of breath from the opener or the second attempt, but I'm actually recovered enough to lift. It's, I mean, it's the nerves, it's the cold building, it's the, you know, trying to cut weight. It's all, all the factors keep my respiration a little bit higher. It's, it's stress. Are there values in the longer rest periods? I can remember reading articles, this is a long time ago. I might have the information in my little red book. Uh, this I keep this little red book that I, through the years that I find something really interesting. Um, of course, it's not gonna be right there. Of course, I won't be able to find it right now. But uh, I would write down little ideas or gems that I thought had value. And I remember reading that some of the bigger, uh, the super heavyweights for like Russia and some other places were taking five to seven minute rest periods. Now, part of the reason you're doing that is you're looking at a person whose body mass, you know, exceeds 140, maybe 150 kilos, uh, 308 to 330 or so. So <laughs> that five to seven minute rest period is because that heart and lungs uh, are, are going through so much effort. I think, in my experience, 20 minutes is excessive. I can't, I couldn't imagine spending that much time in the gym not training. Um, I mean, I my life has been in the gym, in the weight room, but I like to be in there and work out. And even when I finish working out, if someone says, hey, can you help me? I'm always like, I wanted to go. Um, I mean, it always helped, but yeah. So I would say it's excessive, but it's an interesting idea. For a sport power lifter, I don't think it makes sense because of the the rest periods would not mimic what you do when it meets. Though I have been to some powerlifting meets and there are some long waits. I guess you're gonna have to go to a few meets and read it. If you're just a gym power lifter and you're doing this experiment that your friend is talking about, uh, I would, uh, I, I mean, I have no experience with it. Uh, I've had rain delays, I've had lightning delays, and I always know how hard it is to gear back up after a 20 minute delay of any kind. But uh, it's an interesting idea. And I guess, Tim, the thing is, if you try this and you make some of the best gains of your life, get back to me and then I'll pretend I invented it, okay? It's a good question. Um, on the sports side, probably not. On the interesting, let's let's run this up the flagpole and see how it looks kind of thing. It's an interesting idea. So thank you, Tim. Appreciate that.